Credence of the Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got oh, a good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Nicole again with the next episode of The Walking Dead. Now, what you just saw was pretty much all the choices that I made in the first episode. And I guess that was a nice little recap. I kind of fixed the, the lag issues, I think, by turning down the, uh, the shadows. Apparently it's been an issue, um, in general, so. With this game, so. Alright, let's. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. They turned into zombie rabbits. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Mark? Who's Mark? When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're it's all on edge. Food. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Uh, What's the old Larry. guy's deal, anyway? He's a Seems like ass. he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah. Well, I hope he has a heart attack again. Oops. Hey. He's just an old racist asshole. Yeah. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with pile him. Driver. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, when I was running away from the zombies. What an ass. I'm so mad at that. Eat crow, baby. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. That's not a crow. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Ah! 
Jesus Christ. Got a bear. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We got to get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you got to hurry. Make hurry, please, noise. hurry. Noise, noise, noise. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Come on, Marky Lou. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Come on, do something! Please, no, do stop, something! Stop. Oh, do you think no. you can get it open? Please! Get me out of this! Why is this happening to us? Try to cut the chain! Oh, no, no, no! Stop! This is, bad. This is so oh. bad! Hurry! Uh, let's go! Let's go! There's so much blood. Really? I'm gonna try to free. Come on! Christ, Lee, are you nuts? Quit fucking around. Try something else. <laughs> yeah, that's uh. Oh uh, God, he can't die. There's gotta be another way. How would somebody way. do this? Damn it, Lee! Just There's gotta be something we can do. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we way. have to. You have to get out. You have to. Forget oh it. We use chain like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not cutting. Through. Please hurry. Jesus, I need to walk. Please, I'm just Please wasting just ammo now. Like this. We gotta go. Oh God, there's so many of them. Oh God, oh God. Right. God. Gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything. Sorry. Please. get those guns and this clothes. Get the 
the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We're the ones that shot him. Then you should have done the right thing and finished him off. What the hell is wrong finish with you? you uh, well, hang on. We haven't even Bastard. talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you, you go help Mark with the wall? I hate him. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. It's what your husband wanted. Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, you've done all you can, How Lee. Thanks for the help. Wait. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. What a tease. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Duck, okay. Duck, goose. Up, hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know. 
But Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I don't know either. It's killing me. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Two Mr. Names. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> no. Nope. Really? Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? Really? No. Boys. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Hmm. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Honey, oh. That was a part um, of the subtitles. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Can't the family share these crackers? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Well, it is a good idea. If he's a commercial fisherman, he just live off a boat. Unless the fish are zombie fish. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Okay, there's like, you know, a couple of crackers in there. Why can't their whole family share some damn crackers? <coughs> Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Shut up, old man. All right, well... Mark? Hey, will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. 
I know. It was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what she should have done. Here, you and out. Here, eat something. You and out to fight. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Lee. Trust give it a rest, ass. man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told me? <laughs> yeah. That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe I you two should keep your distance. Asshole. Fine with me. I mean, what? <laughs> Thanks, Mark. This is hard. Definitely want to go to the coast. I ain't staying here. You know what? I'm just gonna give. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. Who? They're the ones that need it. Come on, tell me. She looks like she's gonna cry. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I'll just eat I people. want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Not to be biased. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. How ungrateful. Oh, he froze. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. Oh, I'm frozen. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Hey. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. 
can't come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Place, asshole! Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! For the heart attack, please. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think... I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Too I'm going legit with you. To quit. I got uh, your back if uh. anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. 